Ugh, why is this so bright? Huh? What the? Where the hell are we? It was the whole entire city just a second ago! Look, there's some kind of screen. Is this a movie theater? Why are we the only ones here? It's kind of creepy. Hmm. I genuinely have no clue what's going on. First we were in Momentos. Then we ended up in some city. Now a movie theater? Hey, our clothes. They're back to normal. Oh, you're right. Why only me? What's going on here? Well, fine. If all your clothes have returned to normal, and if we're truly still in the cognitive world, then we aren't seen as a threat here. Although, it seems we can't use the meta nav in here either. We seem to be somewhere different from that city. But still in a bizarre situation. Hey, wait a sec. Where are Makoto and Haru? Huh? They're right here. Wait, they're not here! Could it be that we were separated? Holy shit, for real? We have to find them. They might still be in that place we just were. But how do we get back? We don't even know how we arrived here in the first place. Hold on. Let's all calm down. They may be somewhere within this building. There's a door right over there. Why don't we try exploring beyond this room first? Y yes, sorry, all of this had me worked up. I have plenty of comments on all of this. But finding Haru and Makoto comes first. That's right. In that case, let's get going. Stay on your toes, everyone. The concession stand. Popcorn and movie memorabilia line the storefront. This looks delicious. No eating without permission. Got it? Maybe Haru and Makoto are here. Nope. Of course not. Let's keep looking. There's a ticket station here. Looks like it's functional. I wonder what sort of tickets it prints. We may be able to find out if we insert some money into it. Not that I have any on me. Hmm. Looks like there's no clues here. Let's keep moving. The sign on the door says authorized personnel only. The door won't budge. Authorized personnel only, eh? I guess it's only natural that the door is locked then. I could flex my lock picking skills here, but finding Makoto and Haru is more important right now. Let's get back to the search. The projection room. Whoa, I've never been in a huge projection room before. Is this huge thing the projector? Hey, don't go missing with that! Complex devices like projectors are delicate! What? Whoa! What's that? Is it a shadow? It's suspicious, but... It doesn't seem to be an enemy? What is that thing? I'm going to poke it. Oh, I hope it doesn't attack you. Oh, be careful, Akira. It feels really weird. Are you okay? Nothing bad happened. It just goes boing boing when you poke it? Okay, someone try talking to it. H Hello? Can you hear me? No reply. It's just a boingy object. It doesn't speak or move or react to use at all. Perhaps this is some kind of doll. Uh, okay. It's just a doll, huh? It's way too big, though. At least make it a one-seventh scale. Well, the ladies aren't here, so let's keep searching. It's no use. They're not here at all. 
We even found that whole row of doors that won't open. What's going on here? It's as if we've been spirited away. This whole place is a true mystery. All signs do point to this being a movie theater. But something still feels off. We haven't found a trace of anyone else here. Seriously, how the hell did we end up here? I think we rose upwards. Oh, like we welled up here? <laughs> That's a funny way to put it. Wait, what are you even talking about? Hey, everybody! Come here for a second! Maybe Morgana found something. Let's get over there, Akira. What is it, Morgana? You find some kind of clue? Take a look at this door. What about it? This appears to be the exit, but there are multiple thick chains on the door. The chains are held on with four different padlocks. The hell is this? Such redundant security. Wait! Doesn't that mean we're trapped in here? Uh, abduction and confinement confirmed! Hey Morgana, can you pick them open? I gave it a shot, but it was useless. The keyholes aren't shaped for any ordinary keys. If we did something about them, I bet we could get out of here. Yeah. Hey, Akira, isn't there anything we can do? Let's force it open. Damn it! This sucks. Won't budge. One bit. Hmm. So brute force won't work. Could we perhaps look for the keys? I already looked, but couldn't find them or anything else. Not even a mouse. While we're at it, how'd it go on your end? Any sign of Makoto or Haru? Not at all. We looked everywhere too. We didn't see a single clue. Since the exit's chained up, it's doubtful they made it outside. What to do? Hey, why don't we try heading back to where we first woke up? Maybe they've turned up there since we started poking around here. Yeah, Lady Anne has a point. And there's no use worrying about it out here. Alright, let's head back! This place is just as creepy as the last time. Indeed, I feel as if a spirit could appear at any moment. Cut it out, Inari! Hey! Someone's in here! Did I truly sense a spirit? <laughs> Who the hell are you two? Stay on guard. Would you please stop that? You're frightening Hikari-san. They're... not enemies? Seems as much. Okay? We apologize for startling you two. And you're... My name is Nagi. I am the acting curator of this movie theater. A curator? So this theater isn't really abandoned? Could it be that you've all been trapped here as well? As well? Do you mean the same thing happened to you two? Yes. It all seems unbelievable. But it happened in the blink of an eye. When I came to, all of the customers had disappeared and the entrance was barred. I quickly began searching the theater then found this customer, Hikari-san. <gasps> Due to my responsibility as curator, I've taken her under my care. Uh, uh, um, I, um... Calm down, Futaba. It's okay. Uh, um... Yeah. Wait, huh? You're, uh, you're shaking a lot. Yes. It's likely from the shock. She's awfully frightened. I've remained by her side in hopes of staving off some of her anxiety. Oh, that's right. Hey, did you happen to see Haru and Makoto anywhere? They're our friends, but we got separated on the way here, so we're looking for them now. Your friends? Mm-hmm. Have you seen them? We've looked everywhere, but we can't find them. What do your friends look like? Could you provide us with descriptions, or perhaps even photos? 
Ah, uh, well, one's all spiky, and the other one's got an axe. Oh, I know. Yusuke, could you sketch them real quick? I could if I had some supplies. Very well. I'll fetch you some suitable materials. They look like this. Wow, that's so them! Oh, those two. If I recall correctly, they were in the movie. Isn't that right, Hikari-san? Uh, you know them? Oh, um... Nagi-san... Uh... Hikari is whispering to Nagi. What's with the whispering? She could just tell us herself. Right, Akira? She's scared of you, Ryuji. Oh, that could definitely be why she's so cautious. What? Some weird talking cat's way scarier than me? Don't call me weird! Oh, looks like they're ready to share. Just as I thought, both Heikari-san and I have seen your friends. We saw them in the movie, just like the rest of you. Huh? What do you mean, in the movie? Those two were originally with your group, correct? Uh, well, yeah, they were, but, uh... The in the movie part is what makes no sense. We'll leave that for later. So what exactly happened with those two? They've been captured by a character named... Kamoshida Man. Uh... Kamoshida Man? Wait! Kamoshida? What's going on here? Huh? That sound... It's starting again. What's that supposed to mean? I believe Doe has begun playing the movie. Doe? Movie? You'll understand better if you see it for yourselves. When the harmony of the city is disturbed, an absolute hero appears. Kamoshida Man! Astoundingly powerful and wholly invincible, Kamoshida Man is justice incarnate, and justice itself is Kamoshida Man. This is the perfect society. Justice rules and must be obeyed by all. However, a wicked miscreant voice discount for our shining salvation. What an ingrate. Defying the hero of justice is unforgivable. Can Kamoshida Man defeat the evil that opposes righteousness? The absolute hero, Kamoshida Man, now playing. 